Hey guys, let's get Jay back with another video for you. Today we're going to be showing you how to configure SLI for your system. Now you may have got yourself another card for Christmas or switching over for AMD, AMD and we're going to show you what you need to do and we're going to run you step by step uh, in detail on how to do this. Now there is a few shortcuts that you may think about taking but we're going to show you it in depth so you can make sure you get it all set up absolutely correct. Today we're using TNR for this and we'll just have a look at the rig itself. We've got a MSI Gaming GD65 motherboard. We're using the 780 Gaming from MSI as well as our graphics cards. We've got an AX760i, Corsa H100, and there's a 4670K in there as well. Running Windows off of four Force GT SSDs. So we'll take you back to the screen. Now the first thing we're gonna do for our SLI configuration is remove any old drivers that we may have. And we've actually also got the most recent ones ready for us to use later on so you need to go to the nvidia website for this and make sure you get the correct version for your graphics card so if you've got a 770 780 780 tie select the graphics cards you're using and then also the correct operating system and 32 or 64 bit as well so you've got it all correct there is an automatic um thing you can use on there as well which detects what you're using but get the manual ones if you can uh, then you'll know you're absolutely correct with the latest versions so we're going to remove the old drivers off our computer first so we're going to go to start then control panel then your control panel may look a little bit different to this but if you want to change that just go view by and then category or large icons and then you'll get this version we've got here so programs and features and we're going to go through and get rid of every nvidia piece of software we can see on here a few of these may require a restart of your system but that's no problem at all. So we're going to go uninstall slash change. It will come up with the uninstaller wizard. Just, are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. And it will remove that. And we're going to go through each of these and make sure we've got rid of all of them. So I'm going to do this now and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, folks, so we've now got rid of our NVIDIA software. You can see we've got nothing left and all the screen is a little bit bigger as well, but this is because there's no driver to set the resolution with. But don't worry about that, it's not gonna affect anything just yet. Uh, at this point, we would recommend using a driver sweeping program, but most of these now, unfortunately, require a paid service. Um, but I'm sure the resourceful ones of you out there can find a way around that. Um, so we're now going to install our drivers. We've got them over here, they've just moved around a little bit as the resolution's changed. But we're gonna run this and install the drivers. Um, there's two steps to this. We're going to use the Express option, which will install every available option, but there is also an advanced one you can use, which if you don't want to use 3D Vision or you don't have a 3D Vision capable uh, monitor, you don't have to install that. So that's another little step you can use to get around that if you don't require Okay, things. so we've now got our licensing and a software agreement for our NVIDIA installer. We're just going to install this with one card currently. We're going to install the one later on, but we're doing everything with just one at the moment. We're going to use Express and then this will take a few minutes to install. So while this runs, I will make a little cut here and we'll be back when it's complete. Okay guys, so we've done a restart after installing our drivers and you can see we've got our full resolution back and we're now going to install our second card. We're not gonna put the SLI bridge on yet, but we're just gonna allow Windows to make sure the card is there and recognized and it's all happy before we go and install the bridge. So we're going to install the card now and we'll be back with you in a second. Okay guys, so we've now installed our second MSI GTX 780 Gaming Edition and we're now going to look on the screen and we've got a little pop-up that says that the card is recognized and ready to use. So we're now going to shut down the machine, install our SLI bridge and then restart and we'll be back with you in a second. Okay guys, so we've now installed the SLI bridge and we're all ready to enable SLI in the NVIDIA control panel. Now there's two ways you can do this. Either go to start, start typing NVIDIA and it will pop up like this. It will pop up at the top on the left um, or you can just go to the bottom right hand corner which we're going to do now and then the nvidia logo will be down there and you can literally right click and then click open the nvidia control panel that will bring up this menu let's get you centered and it's zoomed in so you can see this better there we go so on the left we've got tons of different options this is you know you can get into some really advanced options with resolutions and color displays but we're just going to look for configure sli surround in physics and then we're going to go onto this page and click maximize 3d performance then we can click apply the screen will go black don't worry about that that's perfectly normal and then when it reappears we're going to do our final step which is a quick restart of the system just to make sure it's all running smoothly 
and then that is it. You are ready to go into your games with your two cards and pawn all those noobs on Battlefield <laughs> to your heart's content. So that was a guide on how to enable SLI and get it all configured for your system. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next time.